Prime Minister is aware of our uh, issues, and he reiterate that he still knows our issues, and I just uh, reinforce our issues that, uh, that some of the issues we talk about were health care, devolution, climate change, uh, addiction treatment centers. Uh, do you mind if you repeat that in, in the detail CBC North would like? Okay. Then the Prime Minister... Prime Minister Lukatimani Harap Tatan Nataku, a Kohoralauta, would Taku, a Yoti Lakak, Timayut, and Yak Tidy Nermut, than Igloyaki Camp Nermut, a Mataku Nunuwood, a Pia Kangit, a Megaluak, a Sotit, a Nam Mangiluak, Sitako, and Nunuwood Mute, a Pia Rakatangi. We go to the Council of Federation meeting. I'm just wondering if uh, what you expect out of, to come out of that meeting, and are you concerned about the relationship now between the, the premiers and the, the federal government? No, uh, uh, we're all grown-ups there, and we're all uh, uh, be talking about it. And I know that uh, I've stated before it's much easier to work with people than to work against people, and I expect to have a very fruitful, productive uh, COF meeting uh, next week. As well. All right. Premier looked at Canada, me Premier looked at me, Katimania Mata, Ila Katimania Apta, then a Katimaniu Nair, Lauta Kota Rataco, Ubugu, you were Premiers, Katimachana, who would illegi Chaluta, and then the federal government, Taha, Bila Rataki Chalu. How concerned are you that there's no uh, representation in, in cabinet uh, in, in, in the North, that there's, there's nobody in cabinet who's from the North? It'd be nice to have someone from the north in cabinet, and I can't speak as to why the prime minister, he has no one from the north, but he appoints his uh, ministers on, on his basis, and we can still work with all of cabinet that, was, that is there, but uh, it would have been nice to have a cabinet member from the north. Can you repeat that? federal government could Minister out in Nuyut Nunabun Mint, Amma Inu Nunangani, Minister Hang Mata, Dana Maitia Yuga Yalau to Walla Takwa, Minister Kalau, Inu Nunangana, Mutan in Waluba, Takpani, Ugio Tatomi, Kenetana, Prime Minister Yohimako Nitakwa, Minister Nitikwa Homan, Kihani Dana Takwa, Minister Nuyut Pilar Ratiginata with Government Aham. In the north, especially in the territory, did you get any commitment from the prime minister to address the crisis? That's Not a commitment, but his commitment was to work on it some more. He's fully aware that uh, we have have housing crisis, and I've uh, uh, re-mentioned that uh, due to overcrowding, there's many ill and negative issues that come out of it, such as uh, addictions, family viol family violence, health issues. So. It's at the base of all the, the negative stuff that happens in the north, so he's quite aware that uh, we need more housing. And I explained it that the best way to make more houses, well, the only way to make more houses is to inject more funds into it. And he's aware of the issues, and I didn't get a commitment other than that he's committed to working on the issue. Then, Prime Minister, uh, <laughs> get lost or put to the back burner? It's uh, part of my job and part of our cabinet's job to make sure that they don't get put in the back burner, to make sure that it's an issue, but I don't think anybody in Canada would uh, disagree that uh, this overcrowding is a very a very real issue in Nunu, but it is a crisis, and it brings on all the ills from overcrowding houses and uh, 
I don't believe any politician in Canada would disagree that uh, more houses should be built in, uh, in, in Nunavut so that we can, uh, how can I put this, at least be at the same standards as everyone else who lives in southern Canada. Um, do you support a national single-payer single system? Is that something that you want as the Premier of Nunavut? For you? We're in a very different situation here because most of our population is Inuit and they're covered under the non-insured health benefits. So uh, the federal, federal government does pay for most of the pharmacy products in Nunavut. So it's, it's not a big issue for Nunavut Mule because they're covered under the non-insured health benefits. Um, and uh, just finally, in terms of your, your position on the carbon tax, um, you have some, 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 some qualms with, with, with the federal government imposing one on Nunavut. Did you bring that up? Did you discuss that with the Prime Minister? I brought it, I, not in terms of the carbon tax, I did oppose it, and I do oppose it because we don't have any, any alternatives, and I've stated before that in Nunavut it's just a tax because we don't have any alternative energy sources. And I brought it up that climate change is affecting uh, the Arctic and Nunavut Mute more than anywhere else, like it's warming at three times the rate. But we don't have any, all, any alternative energy source right now as we speak, because wind's not reliable and solar's not that reliable. And when you get in the higher Arctic where it's you got 24 hour dark for four months, it's absolutely not reliable. So we want to do our share because we, we feel the effects, but uh, the carbon tax is, is just a tax for us, but it's, it's here and we know it's staying and it doesn't do any good to, to fight something that's already there and in place. So we just want to get more resources so we can do our share to uh, mitigate the effects of uh, climate change. Should people in the north, do you think, be getting more of a rebate uh, from, the, from the federal government because of the carbon tax than, than people in the south? I think so because it, uh, it compounds the cost of everything in the north. When the carbon tax is imposed in Nunavut, it puts the price of fuel up and the price of uh, heating fuel and gasoline up. But it also puts the price of up for all the freight that comes up, all the food that comes up. So it's, it's just, it just compounds everything on the cost and we have the highest cost of living right now. Can you just say that answer and in attitude as well? Do you think that there should be a bigger rebate for, for the people in Nunavut? Dakwa Nunavut Miuta Tan Puyo Luka Income Tax in Akili Homata Matan Income Tax in Pilario Lerant Tan Tina Takan Homata Takwa Canada Mulukta Nunavut Mir Anginakami uh can we just ask you you know there is a lot uh, that is being made in, in Alberta and Saskatchewan about that they don't feel included as part of this country, they don't feel included in this federation. Is there any of that sentiment in the North, would you say? No, we're all, uh, we're quite proud Canadians and we're proud and happy to be part of Canada. We do feel that uh, we are neglected at times because we're so far lacking in infrastructure and our basic needs are not to the same standards of someone living in southern Canada. So. The federal government should do some nation building, and they have to do some nation building within Nunavut. But uh, no, we are proud to be part of Canada, and there's no there's no qualms about that. Canadians <laughs>
Did you raise, did you raise the, the prospect of a higher rebate uh, in the north uh, with the Prime Minister? No, I did not. Thank you.